Trying to make some um, arrows. I uh, only have enough to make one actually. Uh, so, uh, what the, well, first of all, I just want to quickly talk about the fact that two, there's two things I want to mention at the beginning. There's um, different texture pack as you can see. the The main reason of the main reason I'm using a new texture pack rather is that the new because of the new um, the beta version that's out just now, all the current texture packs that have come out and all that just they aren't supported. So there's only so many people who have updated their um, their texture packs to work with the most recent one, the most recent um, tools you use to patch, so you get different water and things. So yeah, but I like this one. I like texture packs that are nice and light, so that's useful. Second thing I want to mention quickly is that there's beds. Can't actually use it right now because it's not night time, but you can craft a bed and uh, sleep in it and it means you can skip night time so it's going to be useful for videos but I like it and I don't like it but I'll show you how to make it as well uh, I don't have any wood but <clears throat> for example if I just place three uh, at the top three wool that is and then three say this was planks of wood you just place three planks of wood and you'll get a bed which you can just place in the ground and, uh, at night time when it's actually dark out, you can just right click it and you will actually spawn. Or, yeah, you'll the screen will fade out and come back and uh, you will you'll skip the night, which is useful, as I said. Uh, what I've de decided to do as well, I tried to work a bit more on the lighthouse and uh, I just kind of skipped working on this thing right now. To um, I, You can see I started building here and uh, I laid some track down, but I don't have enough iron to finish it, so I just left it, basically. We'll get back to that, but what I'm going to do, once I got to the top here, I'll explain what I'm going to do. So up here, um, what I did do was lay down glass, and then I, I play, placed lava down. And it's a cool idea, but it just, it was too expensive and too, you know, it just didn't really work that well, getting uh, all the lava that I did to try and fill it up, or rather, I didn't even get to the point where I had lava to fill it with. So what I'm doing instead is, um, probably about three, three blocks high, I'm going to actually put a layer down there with a nether rack on it, and if you don't know what nether rack is, it's basically the material you get from mining down in the nether. So what we need to do now is actually get some obsidian, which in itself is not an easy task because I need a diamond pickaxe. So what I need to do is go uh, down into my mine and find uh, some diamond and then with that diamond I need to craft a pickaxe and with that pickaxe I need to go and find, or see it's rather easy to get obsidian but actually finding lava and also having the materials to, to mine it is the difficult part. Whoa. So first things first is to get um, some materials ready, you know, for our trip down. So what I need is a, a bucket with, I don't actually want lava in it, but I'll empty that out in a second. And I'll just grab some other materials that I might need. You can mine, um, take some iron, well I don't need iron, you can mine obsidian with an iron or even a stone pickaxe, but it takes up to a minute. I think it's over 50 seconds or something it takes and that's just not very useful and it's too takes too long and it's just boring to be honest so what I need to do is get some materials uh, I need some I'll take these sticks I need to get some planks build a crafting bench that we can eventually use down in the mine so I'll just take half of these uh, that's just annoying me that it's not a perfect and then we'll build a crafting table, which can be used. And then let me think, what else could we use, or what might we need? 
Hmm. Don't need arrows, I can put that elsewhere just now. Uh, there. I need to remember that I have other materials to make arrows because I want to start using a bow and arrow, it's useful as well. Yeah, I think I'm just going to jump down into the mine. Actually, I'm going to make a quick little tiny edit here so that I can go and check what, what levels diamond is most frequent at and then I'll just jump down there and try and find it as soon as I can. So, um, to, to cue that uh, edit, I think I'm going to show you the bed now that I'm here anyway. So you can see it's night out. And uh, if we go over to the bed and right click, we'll actually lay down and you see the screen will fade out. And yeah, there we go, we're at daytime now. And uh, all mobs in the area are usually cleared. I don't think they stick around if they were there. And uh, it's daytime when you start pretty much at the beginning. There's a, still a spider, I think, but it'll be friendly. Uh, so there we go. Uh, just give me a second so I can go and check this out. Okay, it seems that around level 10 is the most optimal diamond um, so many spiders uh, so what we need to do to explain levels these are actually essentially what these little sections are not this but you'll see uh, up there there was different sections cut off those are actually for exploring levels through a mine but I'll explain it once I get down to the bottom here and I believe this takes us down to Yep, bedrock. So, from bedrock, basically, we want to go up to level 10, and I realise I just dropped myself in here. I'll check something here. Yep, so, from bedrock, we're going to count, I think this would be level 1. And, uh, it just, it work, basically, levels are just a layer of blocks at each, at each you know, That'd be say that was level five. That'd be level six and whatever. But it, whatever it is, so let me recount that. I just lost count. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I reckon around here, some point, somewhere or other, there's going to be diamond. So uh, I'm going to go and look for some diamonds. So I just found uh, another dungeon and uh, some lapis lazuli which I've already found uh, here. That's pretty cool, I wasn't expecting that. It's certainly more interesting than what I was up to anyway. Let's just grab this stuff before something comes to find us, kill us. And some wheat bread, a bucket which is useful because I forgot to get a bucket of water. So while I remember that right now, I'll go and grab some water. I think there's uh, it's not a huge issue, right? There's water down there, but I want to grab this stuff here as well. Uh, I don't really, really need this coal, but I suppose I'll grab it now that it's here to save anyone complaining in the comments that I blatantly missed a, a vein of of coal, which frequently happens. And I usually I'd collect up all the mossy cobblestone as well, but at this point I can't really be bothered. I want to find this diamond before the episode runs out, so I'm going to go and do that. found a pretty interesting place right here as well, which has some good materials. I had di I had um sorry gold, redstone, coal, more redstone, and there's lava as well, which makes me think that I'm re getting really close to finding some diamond. This just this kind of just sings out the kind of place that would 
that would have these kind of materials. So what I think I actually should do as well is um, dig a little, you know, just a, a block down and empty out this bucket and then go and grab this source because then it'll clear up the space down. And I actually think there's some, there's going to be obsidian down there. So that, that would be, oh god, just as well. And there we go, diamond and obsidian. <laughs> Let's just hope we get at least three blocks here. I light this up as well. One, <laughs> oh well. Can't complain, diamond is diamond and no matter what quantity it comes in, it's still useful. And uh, I could sit here and, you know, dig this up, but it would take forever, so I'm gonna... It uh, looks as if there's more. More over there. And it looks... This is a really, really cool, really interesting um, little section I found here. And there's two areas up here. There's up here. And then there's up there, which I think may connect, so we can figure that out as well, since we can go up here. I'm going to light this up to um, stop any nasties spawning in front of us. Yeah, like I said, I th reckon these would... Oh god. Where's that guy? Hope he's not around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Oh, seems like I've got him stuck. Um, yeah, let's not get distracted. Let's jump back down. At least I put a light up here, so I know where we're going. And uh, what else can we do? I grab all these materials, but r right now it's not my main concern. I just want to get uh, try and find some more diamond. So I'll go back down here and look because there's iron and obsidian and all. Oh God, that was a very bad decision. Let me just try and place a block under there, so we don't lose one more. Oh, that was close again. So I get the feeling there's going to be some diamond in here. This just, you know, sings diamond because there's stone. Um, I mean, there's a, there's a cavern full of lava, and it, it always seems to be consistent with finding diamonds. So if I can just look over there without falling, or maybe clear out a path. Grab this iron as well. I'm really pleased with this find. I didn't expect it to be as, oh God, um, as you know, as big as this and as, as nice looking. To be honest, it's a pretty cool look looking area. There's some coal. So it seems level ten. If you're if you're now familiar with the concept, hopefully I explained it well enough before. But you can see if, going by the, the levels. Um, that people have kind of come up with, then you can f be really successful in exploring caves and mining and different things like that. So it's probably a good thing to go by if you're planning on finding some diamonds. run out of um, of pickaxes so what I need to do is build and I have a crafting bench but I can build more I'm just going to just quickly um, throw a couple together with cobblestone because I don't want to waste any iron right now so we'll just do that and get three of these guys oops and we'll keep on going and uh, if I need to I will make some iron pickaxes to get some diamond. But I can hear water, so I'm hoping that oh, I'm hoping that from that we find something. And this uh, looks interesting. There's some gold, that's for sure. Now, uh, oops, I didn't want to do that. 
what was that's kind of relevant anyway. I was going to say I don't like to um, completely kill um, water sources, but I do like to block them at least. And uh, I'm not really having much luck finding. Um, I'm not entirely sure I can actually mine this with stone, so I won't attempt it because I want to keep that. But I find more obsidian. It's just I can't I have no luck at all finding any diamond. But I'm going to keep at it because I really, really want to find some. And I figured, you know, if I just follow the lava, that I'm going to hit it at some point. It seems pretty consistent that there, if there's lava, there's um, going to be diamond nearby. It just, that just kind of means that you're at the right level, and I think I'm just digging back in that direction again. What I need to do is keep going where I was going, because that seemed to be yielding results. Oh, there's redstone. I'm hit a patch of mud, I don't know if that has any significance at all. Oops. And again, finding little patches of of lava with no results. If anyone has any ideas as to the patterns of finding lava and its relevance to diamonds, then please let me know and I can hear water again, so hopefully... Oh Jesus! No, no, no. None of that. Let's just tr hopefully we can dig around that. Maybe not. Maybe that means that there's something above us as well. And there's more iron. And uh, I can hear water in this direction, so maybe we should go here. Uh, because the more kind of cavernous spaces I can find, the more I feel like I'm going to find diamond because. Um, I've had most success in my times playing Minecraft, um, you know, just exploring caves to get my resources, so hopefully, oh, what does that mean? Hopefully finding a cave will yield some, oops, wrong, I get a feeling we're going to have to go this way now. <laughs> that wasn't a a fun sound to hear. Hmm. I think it's in this direction. Yeah, there we go. To be honest, I've probably been here. It looks somewhat familiar. Maybe not. Maybe this isn't you. One thing I just realised is that I haven't kept track of where I've been going, so I'm going to have to struggle to find my way back. That that's never good. So, what the hell can we do? Uh